Manchester United to Watford won. Really pleased with that today that Manchester United have got over the line and got victory. We were 2-0 up with only a couple of minutes to go and we've let away a late goal to, for them to claw back to try and get the point out of it. But thankfully it was too little too late from Watford and Manchester United hung on and got the three points. Were we worthy of the three points? I don't know. I mean, Watford probably worthy of a draw today out of this game, but Manchester United have got the job done. The quality from Manchester United maybe has been the key to, to shining through, and sometimes it is when teams don't usually play at their best. The, the better team, usually the quality of individuals maybe, or, or, or certain players step up to the mark. Just a one-off brilliance can help in certain games when they're tight, and Manchester United haven't played great today but have got the three points, which is valuable in the race for the top four. It really is for Manchester United. We need to keep winning because Spurs, Chelsea and Arsenal are all playing at the week, over the rest of the weekend and on to Monday. And Manchester United had to get the job done first to put the pressure on them teams because Tottenham are away at Liverpool, which will be a difficult game for them. So they could drop points in that one. But really overall, please, Manchester United have put a fairly strong lineup out, although I was a bit worried with obviously Phil Jones and Chris Smalling both at centre-half today. That does worry me, along with Ashley Young at, uh, at the uh, full-back, right-back as well. That is just not three defenders I want to see playing for Manchester United going forward into next season. I think we've got a really upgrade on that. Small in, very, very good as a backup for Manchester United, but I don't want to see any of these players play regularly first-team football for Manchester United next season. If we want to challenge for the title and or win it and challenge for the Champions League as well. You, you can't be playing them players as starters. It's just not going to happen. Midfield wasn't good enough today. Matthew Herrera and that wasn't good enough for Manchester United. But we've got the job done. We're obviously, matter up, up up in that in that middle position. Sometimes in the false nine and that a very slow one. Matter. I would have preferred to see a Jesse Lingard up front, but it wasn't it wasn't to be today. He, he chose to put him on the substitutes bench. I know a number of these players have been out injured for a while, so it's probably a good option to do. But, I don't know where Scott McTominay has been. He was doing very, very well then few games and then just seems to have got dropped straight away from Matic to come back in. And when a player's playing well and in form, I don't really know why. I can understand it was away at Arsenal that we did bring Matic straight back in. But since then, he was poor. he's been poor. And I would have brought Scott McTominay back in. That is my honest opinion. But he wasn't even along the substitutes bench. We have made substitutions in the second half. when we ha in, the, in the game, we brought Pereira onto the pitch, which is nice to see Pereira getting some, some more minutes for Manchester United. Also, Rojo coming on late on as well, which is which is nice to see. And Jesse Lingard also coming on in that second half. So, overall, three points for Manchester United. Rashford and Marshall with, obviously, the goals. Nice to see that they're both on in, in the goals tally because Marshall has been very, very poor in that game against Wolves. Very, very poor and he needed to get a goal. Needs to be banging in the goals regularly and along with Rashford because they're two of Manchester United's main men in the attacking areas that have got to be providing Manchester United with goals along with Romelu Lukaku. So we've just got to keep going as it is. This is Rashford's best goal scoring season for Manchester United. I, I think certainly in terms of goals per games anyway, uh, it is, is a lot, lot better than it was last season. So I think he's got 13 this season, which is the same as he got last season. So and it's, it's done in less games. So it's, it's getting better. His goals and assist ratio is definitely going up, and that's what you want to see from from youngsters. If it's improving year after year, they're getting better, getting more consistent. Then it can only only go only one way it can go, and that is up. Manchester United through and through. Marcus Rashford. So it's, it's just great to see see him getting them goals. Nice, well taken goal for the first one. Obviously, a bit more of a scrappy goal for that second Martial goal, but. Really overall pleased that Manchester United got the job done. No clean sheet. I think that's only about two or three clean sheets at Old Trafford all season in the league, which is really, really poor. We've got to sort that defence out in the summer. Also, probably still going to need another player on the on the right-hand side of the attack. Jaden Sancho, obviously, still my preferred option there. And then Manchester United, will three or four players in Manchester United could be a good team. I'm still a bit concerned. Will this honeymoon period continue into next season? We will have to wait and see. But Solskjaer has still pulled out a number of results. People said, "Will it? Will Will Manchester United go on a on a bad run of form now?" He's been been named manager. Okay, we haven't performed at our best today, but we've got the job done. And un, un, under Jose Mourinho, we were drawing games like this, going two two nil down in these sort of games, really really poor. So things are certainly not as bad as they were under there. We've had two defeats, and everyone was saying, "How are we going to bounce back?" Well, we've bounced back with a win. 
and that is all you can do at the end of the day. So we hopefully some of the other teams will slip up. On, I expect Tottenham will slip up against Liverpool. Hopefully that one can be a draw so I can put a nail in Liverpool's coffin for the title and also put a nail in the coffin for Tottenham's hopes of getting in the top four. It would really stump both their teams. And then maybe hopefully Cardiff or, or Newcastle could pull off a shock against maybe Arsenal or Chelsea to help Manchester United along the way because we're going to have to rely on the other teams slipping up as well between now and the end of the season. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on the game. Really pleased that Manchester United have got the job done today. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll talk to you all again soon. See ya.